What's up everybody, Beastly Joystick here, and today, sploosh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a turret in Minecraft. Now, if you've seen my channel before, you might be wondering why I'm making this video, because I already have a video about turrets in Minecraft. Well, when 151 came out, they changed up a lot of the redstone and how it works, and so my old turret doesn't work anymore. So, I'm going to keep that video up in case you're playing before 151. But, if you play past that, you're going to have to use this new method. And so, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. <laughs> I just, I was going to do a cool intro with creepers, but it just completely didn't go according to plan. But, the cool thing about this turret is that you can do a lot with it besides just shooting arrows. And so I'm going to show you a couple of those things. Um, <laughs> actually, now that I say that, I think my examples mostly just use arrows, but but you know, you can use other things too. So that's the single turret. That's the one I'm going to show you how to make. Then you can also do other cool things with it, like uh, turn it into a 2x2 two two or a 3x3. Three three. Um, and I think that's really cool. You can modify it and make it your own and kind of adapt to what you need it to be. Also, you can do this with droppers. So if you wanted to dispense arrows to yourself without shooting yourself in the face, you can just hook it up to a dropper and have it drop the arrows out. I did this with diamonds so that you can kind of just take a, take a little diamond shower and, you know, if that's your thing. Uh... My redstone skills aren't very magnificent, but if you have better skills than I do, which isn't hard to have, um, you could definitely compact this and make it a little more manageable. So, now that you have the idea, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this. All you're going to need is some redstone, a dispenser or a dropper, a comparator, a power source, such as a lever, and a block of your choice. And then, of course, something to load into the turret. So, what you need to do is take your dispenser, go ahead and place it. I'll put it on that convenient little dirt patch. Put your block of choice right next to it. And if you put it on the left, that's okay too. Just do the opposite of what I do with this. So go ahead and place redstone on top of your block, below it, one more behind that, and then you want one more behind the dispenser. Then take your comparator, stick it in that little L shape, click it once, and then hook up your power source. And that is all you have to do. You can turn it on and it's ready to go. Just load it up and it'll start firing. So it's a really simple little thing. You will probably have to go to the nether if you're playing in survival. But finding nether or uh, quartz isn't very hard to do. So um, yeah, it's a lot more simple than the old turret. I like it a lot better because you can change what you do with it. For example, drop TNT on your friends. And yeah, besides that, it's yours to experiment with. Um, as for the channel, I'm planning on uploading a lot more videos more often. Now that school is kind of starting to let up, I plan on playing a lot more. And, uh, yeah, I want to continue with the channel. But I'll have a separate video about that. And so, oh, I actually forgot to show you my new skin. Um, it's kind of hard to see you here. I'll go F5. It's pretty similar to the old one, but I think it looks a little bit more well-made. Probably because I didn't make it. I just found some um, pre-made skin parts and kind of put them together. But that's okay. It works. So other than that, I don't think I have anything else for you guys. So go have fun with your new turret, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.